have Newcastle United's new owners finally found their man. Buongiorno everyone, welcome back to the Magby Channel TV. Happy Monday, hope you've had a good start of the week. Will Newcastle this week be appointing their new manager? The new manager of the new era. After Bruce finally got sacked last week, Graham Jones took charge of his interim game against Crystal Palace in a 1-1 draw. He's still going to probably take charge of the Chelsea game, but will this be the week in the next five, six, seven days where we get the new man? Who's going to be the new Newcastle manager? Well, according to a very reliable source, Fabrizio Romano, who he is one of the best, he is, you all know, let's go, his slogan, his transfer talk, it's pretty much spot on all the time. He's saying the day that everything is agreed between NUFC and Paolo Fonseca. Final talks over the weekend and it's now with Newcastle to close the deal or look somewhere else. Final decision this week. So, Romano is saying that Fonseca could be arriving in Newcastle this week and could be the manager this week. It just all depends on Amanda Stavely, PIF, everyone to wholeheartedly agree that he is the right man to lead Newcastle forward into this new era. Obviously a huge decision that has to be made. Has to be the bloody right one as well. With the mess we're in in 19th place in the Premier League. And yes we've got all this money to spend with the richest club in the world. But it's no bastard good when you're stuck in a relegation scrap. When you're in the bottom three and if we get relegated. Oh, we don't even want to get into that. Well, it might be fun. It might be a crease. You might be doing invincibles in the championship. You know what I mean? Spend loads of money. We'll probably come straight back up. 99% guaranteed. But um, I'd rather not really. I'd rather stay in the Premier League. Thank you very much. Um, but it'll be the most Newcastle thing ever to get relegated and be the richest club in the world at the same time after staying up with bloody mate Ashley, the skintist, and Steve Lee Bruce. But we'll see. I mean, Paolo Fonseca, he has held talks, you know, a lot more than any other manager. Obviously, we've had Frank Lampard, Lucien Favre, Eddie Howe. They've all been in talks the last couple of weeks, but Fonseca was at the most final stages of talks. Everything's on the table now. A £6 million a year deal is meant to be in the offering. It just needs rubber stamped from PIF. I think Stavely and the rest of them who met him and did the interviews are impressed. Do believe he can take the club forward. But it's just everyone needs to be on the right foot and then giving other people a chance to have their interviews. Other managers have their say. Narrow down the candidates and, and find out especially who's ultimately, definitely the right man to take their job. Benitez Mourinho both took hammerings in their last couple of games, didn't they? Mourinho got beat 6-1 in, in the Europa League the other day. Benitez got slapped up at Goodison 5-2. And the rest of the um, fans are jumping on him straight away, even after a great start of the season. Wonders in the transfer market. It's all it was going to take. One moment, one game. Shouting Rafa out was trending and everything the other day. I mean, he would be the perfect fit right now, you know. I mean, as much as I want a new era and a new start and don't go back and all that. Benitez would be perfect right now because he would stabilise, he knows the club, he knows the players, everything else, you know, but he's on a contract, he probably won't leave as much as Stavely and everyone wanted him. Last year when the takeover was meant to go through, he was the number one target, he was free at that time, he's not now, he's under a contract. Probably won't be Rafa. Um, will Romano be right and will it be Paolo Fonseca? Well, let's go into who is Paolo Fonseca then. And I'll talk about if I think he'll be a good appointment at the end of this. So it's reported variously across the last couple of days and especially this afternoon. It's heated up again after Fabrizio Romano's tweet. What the hell is that noise? Advert. That's what that was. Don't do that again please. Trying to read off a bloody news article. So there's apparently a bit of altercations between Stavely, between the Ruben brothers, between pair of who's the right man. Stavely wants Fonseca. Jamie Ruben was leaning towards Frank Lampard. In PIF, I don't know who they all knew, probably Mourinho and Benitez think they're still last year. Is Fonseca a good fit for Newcastle then? 48 years old, he impressed in his interview with the club with his short and long-term vision for the Magpies along with his team's style of play. So he does like to play on the front foot, he likes to play a very attacking style of play. I think it could be the return of the entertainers if Fonseca did come in because he likes to really have a go at teams. I think he's one of those like Keegan where it's all about scoring more goals than the opposition. Not really about showing up the defence, the likes of Benitez, how he likes to play that way. He's all about let's score more in the opposition. 
Fonseca's quote was interesting and exciting in the way how he says the best form of defence is to have the ball and to attack. Very interesting. So we'll be we'll be on match of the day, right up on match of the day's program listens most weeks. We we'll do five threes and four threes either way. The former Roma boss is ready to leave his home in Rome and base himself in Newcastle and commit himself to transforming the club's fortunes. A winner of nine trophies at Shakhtar, Fonseca has inspired staving excited fans of the CV, which includes leading Pacos de Ferreira at the third in the Portuguese top flight, mainly qualified for their first ever Champions League. So that, that's a decent achievement. He's done it and he's in his native country in Portugal. In the three seasons at Shakhtar, he clinched the Ukrainian double every time. During the 17-18 campaign, he led the club to the last 16 in the Champions League. That's when we saw... Shakhtar beat Man City 2-1 at the Etihad and Fonseca famously dressed as Zorro at a news conference after he lost the bet. Lovely bit of crack that was. In his first year at Roma, he led them to fifth and went out of the Europa League at the last 16 to eventual win at Sevilla. So, a decent CV there. Let's be honest, I mean, we've got to remember that we're second bottom in the Premier League. If we can get Fonseca, we're getting a manager that's been to the latter stages of the Champions League, Europa League, won trophies abroad in Ukraine and Portugal. A lot better than bloody Steve Bruce, isn't it? I hope so. Obviously, the worry is always that he doesn't know the league. That's it. That's a risky one, especially when you're in the relegation battle. You'd want someone with a bit of Premier League experience. But for me, the excitement is his style of play, playing on the front foot, attacking, getting the better out of these players. Playing people in the right positions would be bloody lovely. We haven't seen that for a couple of years. So that would be good, um, and I think it would be it would be definitely exciting to watch Newcastle. Hopefully, get a new bounce when he comes through the door, get some results. But the risk is obviously relegation battle in the Premier League is a lot different. The reason what your CV stays, but I think I think he'd be good enough. I think he'd lead with out of trouble. I think that we could push for tenth, twelfth, like we've kind of managed under Bruce the last couple of years. Later on, we we'll get a good run going. We we'll spend some money in January. And then Fonseca, I think, is the ideal candidate for now. And then in three, four years' time, you go and get your Contes, your Mourinho's. Because they're not going to come at this relegation battle. Well, Mourinho might have, if he wasn't already at Roma. But the likes of Conte aren't going to come and really coach Jeff Hendrick and Kraft. They're really not. They're not going to coach them in a relegation battle. Conte will come and we're pushing for top six. He might come Europa League. He'd definitely come to push for the Champions League. So now I think Fonseca could be a good manager to get in building blocks. He's been linked with big jobs in the past, you know, he turned down Spurs in the summer or there was a conflict of between him and the director of football at Spurs and how much money he was going to get and his style of play. I think he's a good candidate. I'd be I'd be very happy with him. I'd be very happy with him. Um, I'd be excited to see how he gets on. But we'll see. I mean, it, uh, Romano is saying it's it's up to Newcastle now. He says Fonseca, the talks went well, the deal's on the table. It's just Newcastle need to rubber stamp it. They need to get signatures from all around the new consortium to sign it off, really. Um, Fonseca wants it. He's pretty much been offered it. We're just waiting for one last signature on the dotted line from whether it's someone in Saudi Arabia, whether it's the Roombos, where somebody along the consortium isn't 100% yet and wants to hear from other candidates. So maybe in the next few days we'll, we'll get something a bit clearer in terms of how someone else has done an interview. If they're coming from somewhere to interview in Newcastle or the... Just discussing and finalising who's the right man because you've got to think how important this decision is. It's huge. It's first and foremost to stay in the Premier League, and then you then you trust in this new manager with 100, 200 million pounds to transform the club over the next two, three years. You know, so it's and then you trust him in the infrastructure, the academy. Can he build a club? That's why Rafa's favourite because Rafa knows how to build a club from the bottom. He had plans for the training ground, everything when he's here. There's still talk as well of the director of football, Mark Overmars, is linked from Ajax. I'd love him to come over with Eric Tan Hag. That would be a dream. And you've got a few of them that have already been linked across the continent. Ralph Rangnick and it's quite a few of us to be fair. So who knows, man? I mean, <laughs> who knows? Just with Romano, who's a very reliable source, saying that Fonseca's close. You believe him. Who else is close? Fonseca is a clear favourite at the boogies. But um, you've got Lampard, Favre, Howe, Martinez... I don't want Martinez or how to be honest with you. Gerard, I would take Gerard. Unai Emery, I'd take Emery. And you've got Brendan Rodgers, who always ruled himself out. Graham Potter. And about 497 other people in there. Dogs, cats, hamsters, budgies, best mates. Grander. Do you know what I mean? Every fuck has linked with it. Who's going to get it? Romano thinks it'll be Fonseca. The bookies think it'll be Fonseca. Who do you think it's going to be? Drop your comments below. Subscribe to my channel TV. And enjoy yourself.